guys, it's Steve from the Checkpoint here, and today I saw a post on Reddit about the state of gaming at the minute, and the point raised was that developers within the industry seem to spend more time perfecting immersion within video games, such as graphics rather than finelining innovation and revolutionary gameplay. So today, I thought I'd have a sit down with you and like, have a chat about my opinion on the subject, because despite being a gaming channel, it feels like it's been a while since I've actually freely spoke about the state of gaming as we march forward into this new year. So I've put some some chilled out music on. We're just gonna we're gonna sit back, we're gonna relax, and we're gonna talk about video games. So first of all, I feel like we need to establish what immersion is because I think some people misunderstand the concept. Immersion to me is feeling fully involved in the dynamics of the game, feeling like a part of that world contained within the disc. Now this can be accomplished in many ways, through graphical capabilities, through an atmospheric soundtrack, through an open world, but to me, immersion isn't a direct result of one of those things, it's a result of many things working together to create a perfected final product. An example of this would be games such as The Order 1886, which focused heavily on graphical and atmospheric prowess above all else. Innovation is something new, a breath of fresh air that brings fantastic working gameplay to the table but still managing to have a distinctive edge that makes it stand out over the rest. An example of this would be Scribblenauts, it's a 2D platformer slash puzzle game at heart as we have seen a million times before, but it brings in the notepad element which allows you to summon any object your imagination can bring up to help you complete the puzzle. Now, the problem with this is that both The Order 1886 and Scribblenauts, which by the way I'm using as examples because they are two completely different ends of the innovation slash immersion spectrum, is that they both sacrifice to push their innovative gameplay or their immersive worlds. The Order 1886, while being pretty, lacks innovative gameplay. Yes, it's an alternate take on Old Time London, which opens up fresh ideas for the world, but it's all aesthetical because at heart it remains a third person shooter, despite its obvious innovate innovations within the graphical region. And I feel like the same can be said for Scribblenauts, it's a innovative game, it's got, you know, the only limit is your imagination through its notepad system, but it lacks the depth and involvement in a story you get from an immersive world. I mean, immersion is all about bringing the player into your world, and if we've got a basic 2D platformer with that notepad system, it kind of feels like you're an outsider and you're affecting the world as a, as a sort of god figure rather than being in the world, if you catch my drift. However, going back to what I said earlier, immersion is a collaboration of a streamlined game, in my opinion. If something is graphically beautiful, it does not, I repeat, does not equal an immersive product. It requires a sum of graphics, narrative, likeable characters, a hint of make-believe, amongst a whole host of other things. Take a look at, if you'll allow me to use an example outside of the gaming world, the Walking Dead, the TV show, it may not have the best writing sometimes, it may not even have the best acting sometimes, but what it does have is dynamic characters, interesting storylines, a strong narrative and emotional attachment, which all work harmoniously to make the product immersive. The same can be applied to video games if a game world is gorgeous, full of beautiful textures, vast open planes, but every character you meet has the depth of a puddle, the immersion is cancelled out. But if the characters are dynamic, if the world is atmospheric and beautiful, if the storyline is emotive and raw, then that is what makes the game immersive, a sum of all things, including innovative gameplay. It all works together, all pulls the player in, rather than pushing them out. So yeah, what I'm trying to get across is that I feel people are misinterpreting immersion and innovative gameplay. They are not opposites, they do not cancel each other out, as I've already explained. I feel like immersion stems from innovative gameplay, if anything. As well as a whole host of other things, innovative gameplay works with other elements to make the game immersive rather than the two of them cancelling each other out and being polar opposites. It's kind of like two ends of a magnet. They kind of work together rather than cancel each other. So yeah, I really enjoy that talk. I love the sense of discussion we get whenever we put out a video like this. And if you have any comments on the topic at hand, let us know with a comment. 
like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, all that business, and I will see you very soon.